So what I've learned over the years of smoking hookah is that what makes a good or bad hookah simply boils down to your understanding of how coals work and how well you actually light your coals before you put them on your hookah to smoke. If you ever been to a hookah lounge and you told your waitress or waiter that the hookah was harsh, possibly not producing a lot of smoke, any other complaint other than the actual taste of the hookah, nine times out of 10, that person is going to check the coals first move them around, possibly flip them, change them out, or maybe even create a chimney on top to produce more heat for those coals to produce more smoke. The reason why they start there first is because they know, like I know, the key to every great hookah is the coals. There are two types of coals, instant light coals and square coals. There are multiple brands for these two types of coals and most smoke shops carry them in two different sizes, small and large. If you do not know which size to use and want to use the circle coals, then the best thing to do is to take two large circle coals and lay them on top of your shisha bowl. And if majority fits on the inside, then those are the ones that you should use. If they do not fit, then you should utilize the smaller size coals. For the square coals, they do not vary that much in size. So the best thing to do is to light two square coals of your brand of choice and run trial and error. If you have a small shisha bowl, you're probably only going to utilize one coal to produce enough enjoyable smoke. If you have a normal size bowl, then you're going to want to use two coals. And if your shisha bowl is a little bit bigger than normal, you may want to utilize three coals. When I like my coals, I typically use a stove top, but only if I do not have access to my coal burner. A lot of people ask, can you light coals on top of an electric stove top? The answer is yes, but I want to recommend it because whenever I light coals on top of an electric stove top, it leaves a slight light burn mark of the shape of the coal that I just lit. Uh, today, we are going to be utilizing our coal burner, which is also available for purchase on our website. Let's get started. When lighting circle instant light coals, you will know if you have a fresh coal or not by how well it lights when it gets hot. Bad coals will possibly lose its shape by falling apart once lit, Sparks will go through the coal, but it will remain black. If there is no real fire combustion, then you do not have a fresh instant light coal. This matters because it will affect the burning of your shisha, ultimately lowering your chances of smoking a good hookah. I like to use square coconut coals because they are the perfect size compared to the other brand options that come slightly bigger or smaller. The bigger ones typically burn the shisha in the bowl too fast, and the smaller ones not enough. Coconut coals, are non-instant light coals, so they do take a lot longer to light in comparison to circle coals, but they do last longer and produce a cleaner pool. Also, instant light coals contain certain additives that causes the coal to light faster, making square non-instant light coals a healthier option. When lighting your coals, always pay attention. If one side of the coal is lit, flip it so the other side can light evenly as well. Do not put your coals on your shisha bowl until the coals are fully lit all the way through. If it still shows black, then it is not ready. If you put your coals on before they are ready, it will affect the taste of the hookah and the way the coals burn the shisha in the bowl, causing the hookah to be harsh or not full at all because the coals are still in the process of lighting itself. Whenever I light coals, I use our cloud starter to help speed up the process, which can also be found on our website. The cloud starter pushes air through the coals, causing it to light faster. Or you can blow on the coal to create the same effect. Once my square coals are fully lit, I typically place them on one half of my shisha bowl without them touching each other. This allows me to keep track of the side that is burning, and if the bowl lasts the duration of the coals being lit, towards the end I could add a third one to the other side. When I place the circle coals on my shisha bowl, I lay one flat, then put the second one halfway on top of the other. This slows down the burning of the shisha while giving you the power of two coals. Now your hookah should be ready to enjoy. Smoke.